welcome to Hot Takes. My name is Stuart Gower, that is Jimmy the Saint of the Renaissance Men. This is Hot Takes where we take, uh, we react to the latest cinematic trailers. And Jimmy, I've got something for you that has been long, um, long discussed mm. as kind of like Oscar worthy material for us. Yes. Both I, I... in the film and the performance. I was wondering what you were going to bring, Stu, this week, and then I was whacking some things in the notes, and I got a quick <laughs> glimpse of it, and I went, yes, oh, I'm excited, because this is a hot topic for a hot take, isn't it? Yeah, very good, very good. I don't know much about this film, only that it has got such kind of, such buzz about it. Um, I think it's done a couple of festivals. Uh, I think it probably did can, and maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, try, I'm trying Sundance. to make myself yeah, I'm trying Sundance. to make myself sound intelligent, but um, it's the whale, um, starring mm. Brendan Fraser. Um, People are saying this is his, this is his like um, big comeback f- film. Is it? This is what's going to bring him back to where he should have been because he he was big, wasn't he? Not in stature, but in in like Hollywood yeah. with the Mummy films and all of that sort of stuff. California man, and then he dropped off the radar. And I think there's a story about him being. Is there a story about him being sexually molested? Uh, what I don't know. That, yeah, that took I a think, turn I didn't expect. I know something happened to him. Why and why he had to sort of get out of Hollywood? It wasn't a good. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was in Crash. Do you remember Crash? That was a great film. That was an Oscar-nominated film and that sort of stuff. Mm. Not the one about people getting turned on by um, car crashes. <laughs> the one. <laughs> The one with all the, the, yeah. yeah. Um, he was in that. Played Sandra Bullock's husband, I think. Well, the whale, the whale is really interesting for me because it's got so many uh, aspects to it that remind me of the wrestler. Okay. Ah. Both directed by uh, Darren Aronofsky. Really. The wrestler rekindled um, old um, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke's career. Yeah. This the whale could it rekindle? Seems like it is rekindling uh, Brendan Fraser's career. So I'm really excited for this because The Wrestler for me is one of my all time favorite yeah. uh, films. Such a good I film. love that film. Uh, just theme, performance. Uh, uh, I love the, the soundtrack by Springsteen, the song by Springsteen. It's just, I just love that whole film. It's just a complete package that I adore. Mm. So if this can replicate any of that, then I'm. I'm there day one. I think he'll be doing less jumping off of top turnbuckles, this character. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, he weighs, what, 600 pounds in the film? Yes. Um, mm. So the, 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 the brief um, synopsis from IMDb is, uh, a reclusive English teacher attempts to reconnect with his estranged teenage daughter. I'm loving that already. You know, themes mm. of kind of estranged, estranged relationships. Uh, again, that happens in a yeah. wrestler. Yeah, very much similar themes, isn't it? Mm. By the sounds of things. Um, hopefully, um, our truth is in the whale. I don't know, <laughs> it might not be. Our truth, uh, the wrestler. Yeah, we, <laughs> he's in the wrestler. I'm just, Was just he? hoping. Well, yeah, there's loads of wrestlers in the wrestler. Yeah, I don't know. Go back and watch it. Go look I will do. The, I will do. I need to. Yeah. Well, look, let's roll them, Stu. I'm excited <laughs> to see Brendan Fraser as the whale. All this guessing, I haven't keyed it up. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry about it. We'll get there. We'll get there. We we we're like the we're like TV shows of the old. If we mm-hmm. le- if we fluff up, we just leave them in. We can't edit this stuff yeah. out. It just stays yeah. in. It stays right, here in. we go. I've got it up now. Pardon the expression. This is the trailer for uh, the whale. Let's go full screen and let's bring it over. Here we go. The whale. Um, just rewind it to the beginning. Let's sit back and enjoy. Sadie Sink, lovely. The sound of the sea there, is he playing an actual whale? People are incapable of not caring. People are amazing. What 
to see more. I want to see yeah. more. Yeah, my God. It comes out next month and that's all we're getting? Crikey. Oh. Uh, should we watch it again? Let's watch that again. I think we need to... I want to watch it. I want to see it again. Go, go for it. Yeah, that looks. That look, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to play it for a third time. Now that that does that looks right up my alley. Uh, looks up Rock's alley as well. He's in Rock's in. Uh, music sounds fantastic. Road to Perdition like um, Elephant Man vibes. Do you know I still haven't seen Road to Perdition? It kills me. I've got it. I just haven't got round to watching it. I know it's supposed to be wonderful. Um, that looks like an absolute gut wrencher, doesn't it? It does. It looks like it's very much, I mean, it's hard to tell from, you know, the very little footage we got, but I'm getting vibes of a very uh, kind of uh, relationship based, you know, narrative between the, 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 the father and the daughter. If he's, I'm hoping it's going to be, I hope I'm not making too many comparisons to the wrestler, but I hope they kind of go with the you know the 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 flawed character because uh randy the ram robinson was very much a flawed hmm. um character but you rooted for him yeah and i hope this does this, a similar thing you know you i don't know if he's going to be a flawed character um i think yeah, I, know, I know what you mean you want a, a excuse the pun a well-rounded character <laughs> um because if he's just if he's just always oh, nice you know like give him give him he's got to have some he's got to have some depth hmm <laughs> and he's got some depth. Oh, Jimmy! Uh, I know. I'm really sorry. That was that was an accidental pun because I I genuinely meant it. Well, right. I mean, just even him just doing that little bit there, you know, he's going to be bringing out a stormer there. Mm. Oh, Brendan Fraser, and he was a good actor. He is a good actor. The Mummy films are great, especially is, well, the first one's great. Is that all him? By the way, is that a fat suit or is that? Oh, it's a fat it, suit. No, yeah. Or he's has not he happy. put on that weight? No, I don't, I don't know. Now, he's bigger than he was, but he's you know he's not like G George of the Jungle um, shape anymore. <laughs> but um, but he's you know he got a big head and his hair went thin. Um, but he's not six hundred pounds like Jesus. Uh, Rock asks, "Is it in theaters only?" I I imagine I'll get a theatrical release. Yeah, it's got to be. What's nice to see is it. <clears throat> it's. You don't get these films very much, do you? Well, you probably do, but you don't see them around too much. They don't get the advertising like all the Marvel and Disney and Star Wars, even though that's all Disney. Um, all of that stuff that's just pushed down our throats. Like That's the only things we sort of see now, isn't it? DC and every, superheroes. It's just people in capes. So seeing something like that is exciting. Yeah, I, I think it is. I mean, just a quick Google, I think it is a fat suit. But I, I think we did put on some weight. Hmm. Um, That's good. Uh, he, he, face. <clears throat> yeah, the, the 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 fat suit added three hundred extra pounds. Right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, looks fantastic. Um, uh, Rock agrees with Jimmy. I wasn't really listening to Jimmy. So what is he agreeing with? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was googling. It's all right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really listen to what I say yeah. either. That's no, fine, but he agreed. No, I, I think it's just it, uh, hopefully it's just going to be a belter. Um, oh, yeah, it certainly looks like it's a film of quality. Um, oh, the stuff about Marvel, I think he's agreeing with. We only get the uh, Disney and Marvel Star Wars stuff. Like, it's good to see a big film like that looks like an independent movie getting big attention. Yeah, 
you generally get one of these a year, don't you? Around like leading up to award season, like the the film that gets the buzz. <clears throat> Ironically, yeah. I, and I think it's it's a lot to do with Frasier and his and his uh, Frasier. Frasier Crane. <laughs> Doctor Frasier Crane and his performance in the Whale, um, mm. and how what that means for his career. Kind of like it, like we like we said the, the similarities to. Um, um, I keep forgetting his fucking name. Doctor Frasier Crane. No, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Um, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Sorry. Now to discuss this, obviously, is it this year with with the Oscars, where, well, next year with the Oscars, where they've brought in the new rules that you have to have a certain amount uh, of yes. people of ethnic diversity in the film and behind the camera? Has that been brought in now? I thought that was in from last year. I could be wrong. Was I, it? I thought so. Yeah. I thought so. Um, Colin with a whale emoji. Yep. Was yep. it a thumbs up, Colin? I assume it is. Um, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? I'm excited. For me, that. That, looked, that looked fantastic. Um, another successful hot takes reaction, I think, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, me too. That was uh, our reaction to the whale trailer, and that was hot takes. <laughs> <laughs>